Hello friends, this video on P-Block part 44 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we have seen fluorine special in so many cases. Let's chart down all the special things about the fluorine. This is fluorine and this is special. See the first special thing is about the fluorine is the ele electronegativity if you see it has the highest electronegativity value. Okay. So first we'll see that it has the highest electronegativity. In fact, in the whole periodic table, it has the highest electronegativity and the value is 4. It has very high bond or disassociation enthalpy. We have seen that. Just now we have seen that. Sorry, very less. We have just seen that. Just now we have seen it's 158 kilojoule per mole compared to other, it is less. Right? And uh, electrode potential is very high. Ionization energy is also a uh, little less here. Sorry, the ionization is very high. It is 1680 kilojoule per mole. If you see, the ionization is, it is very high for fluorine. So it has high ionization energy. Electrode potential is also very high. Electrode potential is also high. Size is very small. We have seen that very small size and that is a uh, reason for special behavior of fluorine. And the electron gain enthalpy is quite lower than expected. We have seen that the electron gain enthalpy. So we have seen expected value of electron gain enthalpy should be more. It should be around 400 minus 400, but actually it is lower than the expected value. Why? We have seen that there is a repulsion. Right in this uh, 2p orbital, there are five electron. 2p orbital itself is small. There is repulsion going on, and thus the electron gain enthalpy is lower than expected. Electron gain enthalpy lower than expected. Okay, and all this behavior is actually because of very small size and very high electronegativity. These two governs most of the spin. It doesn't have a, a d orbital, no d orbital. In fact, that is also reason for a special behavior of fluorine. And it shows only minus 1 and 0 oxidation state. Oxidation state. And 0 only in case of fluorine, 0 in only case of fluorine. Other case only minus one oxidation state. Okay, then most of the fluorine reactions are exothermic. Most of my reactions are exothermic. It gives energy. Why? Because a small and strong bond formed by fluorine with other elements, right? And it forms only one oxa acid only one oxacid. We will we'll see that when we study this oxacid, we will see that fluorine form only one oxacid that is HOF. This is the only one oxacid but other halogen we will see forms large number of oxacid. If you talk about HF, special case hydrogen fluoride, this is liquid at my 293 Kelvin temperature. Why it is liquid? Because of the strong hydrogen bond. HF if you see it has strong hydrogen bond, this is slightly negative, slightly positive. We talk about another HF here, slightly negative, slightly positive. There is a hydrogen bond. Correct? So HF also is different from another hydrogen halide. We'll study about these in later. And because of this hydrogen bonding, actually, my HF is more stable than other hydrogen halides. Okay? This HF is more stable. Also, since it is more stable, it is weaker acid. It is weaker acid as compared to other hydrogen halide. Okay. Now, if you talk about the oxidizing agent, my fluorine is 
मेट्रो ऑक्सीडाइजिंग इंजन एज कंपेयर टू अदर हेलोजन ओके वन मोर स्पेशल प्रॉपर्टी अबाउट फ्लोरिन इज फ्लोरिन इज नेवर इज नेवर सेंट्रल एटम इन एनी मॉलिक्यूल Why it is so? Why fluorine is never a central atom in mon any molecule? Why? Because see, it is monovalent. At the max, it can have only one bond. So typically, fluorine is never a central atom in any molecule. Why? Fluorine is monovalent. Since it is a monovalent, can form only one bond. So fluorine is never a central atom. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.